Hello guys, it's me Karthik. Hope you guys are doing really good. So let's create a Spring Boot project here. Let me take it as a Maven Java project. Version is uh, updated one, which is 3.1.5. And uh, here, let me take student. I will student uh, artifact as a filter demo. Okay. And let's keep this as com. Okay yeah and java and version i'm taking it as 17 here i'm going to add uh, jpa repository and i'm going to add web and i'm going to add lombok i'm going to add h2 database and uh, anything i'm missing as of now no okay click on generate so it is getting generated here i'll tell you why we are creating this in a minute so let's go here and keep it in your folder and extract this okay and once it got extracted move it back and go to your favorite id and open it so in my case i am using um, uh, intellij here and I'm selecting filter demo yes okay click on open it is getting opened in a new window and it will take little bit of time to set up everything right so in the meantime we have selected maven only yeah so in the meantime this is where our project is student info uh, in this playlist we are going to make couple of videos on this where i am going to add the student information here and this is based on the front end and i am building the back end application as of now later on we'll build the front end and we'll try to bind both of them right okay then go to the pages in the in the here we have the filter condition so that also we'll try to implement it right so now in the meantime i think this got completed here we are going to use h2 database i know it's an in memory database but for our demo purpose since i have not made any videos on the h2 database so i am planning to use this okay now go to the pom.xml here you could see spring data jpa starter web h2 we got it lombok we got it test we got it okay cool now let's try to uh, get some application properties for h2 database okay simple go here and type uh, h2 database with spring boot here you get one link i'll put this link as well where uh, what are the properties you need it you will get it here okay so you simply copy it and paste it okay typically for any database to connect to the application with the Spring Boot, you need data source URL, you need class name, you need user ID, password, and the dialect property. Okay. In my case, I am using the in memory database. You could see here. Okay. So in this database, this will get all the tables will get created. And what is the class name for H2 database? It's H2 driver and username, password, dialect here. So what is meant by dialect? dialect is nothing but we have the java we have the sql and to compatibility okay to to do, do the compatibility between these two the dialect will help us okay so this is the application properties normal application properties for the h2 database okay now if i go and run it should run properly and we have not created any tables any rest controllers as of now that we will create it in the next video okay this video is just about the backend application building and also the application properties okay let's see are we getting any issues or not okay here i'm passing the application here I think it should start now. Okay. Now oh, you could see no active profile and default it is there. And 
finished okay now you could see all this have come up yeah fail to start because port is already is in use not a big deal so let's go here and keep server dot port is equal to let's say like uh, 9011 okay now let's we run this guy so what are the things you need for the h2 database simple h2db import and the properties that's it and you don't need any special application when your application is up and running during that itself you have a h2 iphone console will be there okay that also i'll try to show okay here now you could see i think it is started application yeah i think it started now okay so local host uh, yeah, it's zero. What is the port number I have given? Port number is it nine zero double one? Okay. So this should be nine zero double one slash uh, H two iPhone console and like login will be there something like that. Okay. here uh, h2 iphone console login okay i think this will be closed i guess completed initialization h2 iphone console login dot jsp Yeah, not a big deal. We'll see it in the next video. We'll look into that.